is smooth. Her lips are full. Her eyes are dark and large. She is skilled in giving pleasure with her fingers and mouth, her tongue never tiring. She is devoted to me, willingly caters to my wishes and follows my orders, and she never flinches or pleads, however severe the pain, from any torments and punishments which I hand out to her, for her own education or that of others, or when my mood so directs me, Often her ministrations have given me strong and pleasurable orgasms. Today, though, as often during the last days, weeks, and months, my mind is distracted by thoughts of another girl, one whom I do not possess, one whom I have only seen once, but whom 